Welcome to this episode of Jag Fishing. I just got back from an epic striper trip. I met up with my buddy Hunter, who I met on the Salmon River a little while ago, and we had a great time. It was pretty successful. We had a lot of action, only, well, you guys are gonna see what happened in this video. Just check it out, you're gonna love it. Today we're going for stripers, and before we get into all that, we gotta catch some bait. Bait we're gonna be catching is herring, and uh, Hunter, what's the setup we're gonna be using to catch right these? Here. Got about an eight inch, uh, what we call a stoolie. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wave this thing around in the water, do some figure eights. And what the herring do is they come up and follow it. So once you see them start following it, the goal is steer them towards the net, lift the net as quick as you can, and you got a herring. And uh, get them to your striker pole as quick as possible. Lift. Oh, shit. I missed him, dude. God, no way. Did you? Where, where was he? Was he, got, he was um, right on it. Really? It actually took us about an hour and a half to get on our first herring. After that, they started coming easy. There was a lot of herring coming to the stoolie, but it looks a lot easier than it really is. Some of these fish are really, really quick, and the second they see that net, they just get the heck out of dodge. But we managed to get on a couple of herring, throw them on the hook, and, well, this is how the trip went. Blue back herring, perfect size. Perfect little snickerdoodle. When you're casting these herring, you're not looking to get the furthest cast you can. You wanna just lob them out there. You really don't need to be out there too far. So instead of using your elbows to cast, you're gonna just swing your body. Just like that and a little bit of elbow at the end. Right there is all you need to be. So sometimes when you cast them out there, your slide sinker with your uh, three ounce weight or however much weight you're using, will slide back a little bit. So that's not a bad thing, that actually makes your leader longer. So what you could do is you'll just reel up a little bit and you'll feel the, the slide sinker catch the swivel. And then set your bait runner down, check, check your drag. Your bait, your bait drag is key because you don't want it to be too tight and you don't want it to be too loose. If it's too loose and a striper comes and grabs it and he starts running hard, you're gonna get birds nested quick. So you want it just enough so he could pull but not feel too much resistance. Yo. He still got it, let him run. Let him run, Jackson. Damn. Dropped it? Yep. Little ones, bro. Little ones. Felt them. Felt them drop that. Bitch. There it goes. Come on. Look at the line moving. There it goes. Come on. Is that bait runner clicked down? Yep. What is going on here? I'm confused. You sure it's clicked down? Yeah. No shit. Dude, it's, it's moving like this, from left to right. It's almost as if, like, it's got it. it. <laughs> you know what? Maybe he's just chilling, eating it right now. Right. Didn't take off yet. So that's what's going on, that's what I'm thinking. But that thing's all the way that way right now. That moved a good 15 feet. Look at the line, it's going back to the left. He's got it. Do we just wait? <laughs> yeah. He's still got it. All right, pick the pull up. Point it at him. Still feel him? Oh, yeah. Give me the word. <laughs> yeah, just let him go with it. Small strike. It's probably just a lot. There's got to be a little one. He's still got it. You still feel him? Yeah. Dude, I can feel him. It's doing everything in me not to set the hook right now. <laughs> got him? Yep. 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 Got him. You sure do have him. <sighs> oh, yeah. There we go, guys. First striper of the trip. Yeah. How do you feel? <sighs> not crazy. Nothing crazy. But fish nonetheless. Yeah, buddy. 
There we go. 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 That could be a slot fish. Very well could be. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Are you ready? Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, yeah! Woo! Good shit, bro. Good shit, bro. That's what I'm talking it's like about. It's like a seven pounder. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Slot, bro. That's Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. 100%. That's, that's well over slot, 18. Bro. Well under 28. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is that the Delaware one? Delaware. That's a Delaware fish. That's a Delaware, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. All right, guys. There it is. My first striped bass in such a long time. First striped bass on this channel. And uh, if you guys see right under my thumb, you see how the lines are kind of broken? So my buddy Hunter actually told me that this is a Delaware strain striper. And um, over here, this is actually considered a slot fish. It's between 18 and 28 inches. We're gonna get an exact measurement on it. But this one is definitely a keeper. Look at this thing, guys. Beauty, beauty of a fish. There we go. Nothing crazy, but it's exactly what I wanted. Got my keeper. Hunter, thank you so much, brother. Oh, yeah. You! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> You're, you, you did the right thing. Yeah! Hook on him. <laughs> you set the hook on him at the perfect time, dude. Got him right in the jibs. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, we had a pretty, pretty good day. We had a lot of runs. We had a total of like eight, nine runs. We landed at one fish. And then for the last two hours or so, it just completely died out on us. Um, it's been hard getting bait. So, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up. There's a huge dark cloud coming our way. So we're probably going to just end the video right here. Hunter, I want to say thank you so much for taking me out, man. I appreciate no it. No problem, brother. And guys, if you like this video, if you guys like striper fishing, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. And until next time, tight lines.